Hi, my name is Dr. Sergio Veroslav. I'm a partner here at the San Antonio Orthopedic Group, and I'm here to talk a little bit about surgical approaches to total hip surgery. So there are three classic approaches to total hip surgery, and approaches is what I'm implying by that or I'm referencing is the surgeon's ability to get into the hip joint. So on this model, the skeletal model, you can see that the hip joint is made up from the femur to the pelvis, and here's the ball. The ball is covered up in these ligaments. The whole idea of surgical approaches is the ability to go in between muscles as well as in between nervous anatomy. So the nerves and as well as the arterial flow is not interrupted into the hip socket. One of the earliest approaches that's still commonly used in the United States is the posterior approach. And that basically involves taking down the rotators, the external rotators, of the hip to enter it from the back. The second most common one is the anterior lateral and that ends up going through the trochanteric area and taking down the abductors which are the muscles that come off of the pelvis down to this little knot called the greater trochanter. The third most popular is the anterior approach and that is an intermuscular approach through the rectus and the tensor fascia up here in the front. Each approach has its own advantages and disadvantages and always check with your surgeon because outcomes down the road, six months to a year, are relatively the same. There are different indications based on the type of hip anatomy and the size and shape of the patient that can make one approach more uh, impressive and better than another approach. Recently, there's been a lot of favor towards the anterior approach primarily because the recoveries can tend to be quicker than the more traditional approaches from the side or from the back. My name is Dr. Sergio Virasov. Contact us at the San Antonio Orthopedic Group to get your questions about hips answered. Thank you.